familiar to becoming older? And older? More mature? Yes, older and more mature. What's the difference? Where is the difference? Oh, well, the, the difference is that there's someone who gets older and, and, and there's no one that becomes liberated. Okay. It's got nothing to do with anyone. Nothing to do with anyone? No. Mm -hmm. Being older or younger is completely irrelevant. Because being older or being younger is a story. Yes, I guess about I'm still individual. thinking about qualities there. And oh, no, there aren't any qualities. Say, it's just a, there aren't any qualities. There are no qualities. Yeah. There are no, no more qualities. There aren't any qualities at all. <laughs> there aren't any qualities. Apparently there are in a certain yeah, place. Mm -hmm. Tony, I want to, to uh, I want to precise something. Um, when you answer to some question, who are you? Oh, no one. Yes. The answer is coming out of nothing. There's nothing here. There's no one here that the answer. This doesn't. This you know. This response isn't coming out of here or the mind. It isn't some sort of understanding that there is then correlated as the answer, as the question's made, and then it's not correlated and put together as an answer. The answer is straight out of nothing. There's nothing in the way of that. Then you have no feeling about yourself. I don't have a self. There's no self. <laughs> no. There's no self. There's just what's happening. Because for, for me, for example, you just stand up from the chair, and you just answer for, for, for a question, then it looks like everybody. Hmm? It's, so it's, it's what? <laughs> the situation is that when like everybody. you answer to... Oh, I, for, well, I've got a body that looks like most other people's, although it's pretty... <laughs> like, <you know. laughs> well, the men, but no. Um, it's, it, as far as that's concerned, it's the same as somebody else, and that is that if you're a person, then you would see me as a person. That's what you project. What you're seeing is someone here you think is a person who's listening to a question and then responding out of its own personhood. But does it mean that it's uh, you, everybody, is, it's in me? It's <laughs> no, it's not in you. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's not about anybody being in anyone else. It is about there being no one and there being everything. This, what you're looking at is everything. What you're looking at is nothing appearing as this. But this is consciousness? This is... Um, <laughs> no, this is well, I don't know what people mean by the word. Uh, like, to me, consciousness is awareness. This has nothing to do with awareness. All there is in this room is nothing appearing as bodies. There isn't anyone here. The same as this. Some of the questions that come out might be filtered through a conditioned idea that there's someone there that's separate, but the response comes out of nothing. There's nothing special about that. It's just that something has fallen away, called me. Isn't it just a word? Awareness and nothing? Well, is it, is a lot of things that we're talking about here are words, but and so they can only be understood. Understanding isn't liberation. But in some way or other, what can happen in the exchange of concepts is that the belief that the individual collects together, or idea that it collects together about its own separate story, can begin to fall apart. That's only a superficial part of what's happening. The most powerful part, or the most powerful thing that's happening here, is silent. It's energetic. Mm -hmm. So the words are just an excuse for something else. Like that. And it's nobody's energy. It's just energy. And, and then, is there something good and bad, or...? No, there's nothing good or bad. Liberation has nothing to do with goodness. 
or badness. When, when, when that which is separate suddenly collapses, it is recognized that there is no such thing as good or bad, better or worse, in or out. There is only what is. It's, you know, this, it's, this, in the story, there's good and bad, and better and worse, and good and evil. It's a story. Which gives the story purpose. To look for good and destroy evil. Have you noticed that that's been going on for a long time now? And we're not doing very well, are we?